Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello guys, we are from group 2 We want to present our powerpoint As for our group members, there are Alvina Ningsi, Era Kistina, Mira Tujana, Reva Novianti, Siti Ayu Irma Faradila Sukma, and the last Zayan Ulfadila. As for the material that we will explain is stylistic editing. Well, as for the first material, will be explained by Alvinda. I will explain the material about tailoring language to readers. The original writings editorial Swalik Naus who will read the text. Readers can be recognized in two ways. They might be projected, that is, the author imagines certain types of the readers, and then the editor ensures that the book is suitable for these ideal readers. Alternatively, the document might be aimed at a collection of uh, on of real now readers. Tailoring for now readers is easier since more is now about their characteristics, uh, which we will now look at first. Motivations. Readers who have motivations will have a greater tolerance for poorly edited text, even talks. There is impressions that is not good from the author and publishers. Uh, if the readers has not been uh, motivated, it becomes the task of the editor to turn on the writing so that the reading, the reading's experience is more pleasant, more acceptable. Second, knowledgeability. Text aimed at specialists must be less redundant and less explicit than text aimed at a non-specialist readers. Redundancy, repeating concepts important to make text can be read by people without special knowledge about a subject. This will often help to repeat concepts using syn synonyms and paraphrases. That way, a reader who doesn't understand the first word might understand the second. Third, education. If the text will have mass readers, a hip one that includes people with relatively low literacy, the editor must ensure that all intended readers will in fact be able to read it. Especially if it contains crucial information, it might be a good idea to test the edited version on some members of the intended readership because the readers without post-secondary school education is generally more difficult to read text full of very long sentences with many uh, subordinates, clothes, noun, and lat or grades. For language, if a text is in intended for an audience that includes recent uh, immigrants who are not yet good readers of the language in which the text is written. Uh, then editors might want to seek advice from specialists in second and second language learning who will know with short of wordings in a text are likely to provide difficult. But time and place. As an editor, must pay attention to geographical location of readers. The, pos the possibility of reader is different from the editor location. Therefore, the editor needs to eliminate Australianisms, Americanisms, Britishisms, and so on. And also, the editor needs to make the language more contemporary so that readers understand. And next, writer read relationships. Language formalities need to reflect the relationship between the author and the readers. When the author is not known by the reader, except through the word arrangement in the text, it is very important not to pay attention to the impression of the word's structures and the last reader's use of the text. During this discussion, discuss more about the characteristics of readers such as knowledge and education. What is also important is the use of the text, how, where, and why the text will be read. How, where, and why especially important for structural contents and editing. 
and for big client and typographic and decisions. But these factors may also affect style. Take the instructions manual. Instructions must be given in short sentence and are directed directly to the reader or listeners. I think enough for my explanation of the tailoring language to readers, materials, and the next material will be explained by Era Christina. Thank you. Okay guys, in this part, I will explain about smoothing. So actually, I don't know what is smoothing, but based on the book that I read, that Sir Ali sent to us, smoothing is a process when we read a text. Okay, for example, when the readers need to elbow up to process a text easily, they should not find the wording giving in the way of the meanings. So the readers should not have to go over a sentence two or three times just to see how the parts of the sentence are connected to each other and to get a basic point. Okay, uh, I have three features that make uh, for a smoothing reading text. Firstly, it's clear what goes with what within each sentence okay like um, i mean it's generally a good idea to put a modifier next to what is uh, what is modifies okay uh, the example of the sentence is parents with children who want to be at the front should arrive at the pride early the writer may have mean parents who want to be at the front but the reader may take it to mean uh, the children who want to be at the front. More often, it's not a matter of two completely different interpretations, okay? Okay, next, uh, go to the second point. The subject and verb of main clues are easily located and are so fairly close to each other. Okay, um, generally speaking, the easy sentence to read are those which start with the subject and verb of the main clause and the later main the clause come and the feature about is a subject a verb are and harder reader attacks will be actually um, to be the more accurate the real problem is not so much number of words proceeding and the main clause subject or intervening between the subject and verb as the structural complexity and this proceeding and interpreting passage Okay, last but not least, uh, C, each sentence is properly related to the preceding one in terms of in information of the focus Consider the first two sentence and the section in this capture. Okay, in this point, I don't give you an example of sentence, but I will give you a little explanation about this point. Um, okay. Originally, there was no comma after the reader. As a result, the focus was on knowledgeability and education. This is unsurvivable because the next sentence doesn't um, go on to discuss some new category of the reader characteristic. Okay, I mean the first category. Uh, I mean the first category being one that includes knowledgeability and education. Okay, first category being one that includes knowledgeability and education. Okay, reader, the next sentence introduce a contrasting topic the text uses as open, obsess to its readers. So far, um, the discussion uh, has been about characteristic of the readers, uh, such as knowledge, uh, knowledgeability and education also, uh, Important is the text use, how, where, and why it will be read. Okay, that's all I think about my explanation in this capture. Uh, next, the next material will be explained by my friend. Thank you. Next, the connector word. Like a bird, therefore, or others are not misleading. It is very important that readers be able to see how each sentence is functioning by respect to the previous sentence. The connection uh, may be left for the reader to fill in or it may be signaled by a special connector word. Among the possible functions are restating in a more elaborate way what has just been said and then saying what happened next and next giving evidence for what uh, has just been said and then saying something that contrasts with what came previously. 
and then giving the cause and the last purpose or result of what just of what has just been said or it must be clear which and then the dominant natural disturbance is most canadian forest is white white fires whose frequency in the past three decades has increased markedly longer and warmer um, summers a phenomenon that has been exacerbated by human induct climate change are widely true to be the reason and point e Parallel ideas are expressed to parallel forms. If the text has parallel insert command, make sure the punctuation marks are parallel. In point form writing, watch uh, for instance the points lower in the list don't have the same syntactic form as uh, the earlier points. The incumbent of this position ma- must be able to First, translate difficult text rapidly, and then carry out terminological research on the internet, and then have a sound knowledge of editorial practice, and the last, good relationship with clients. And point F, the antecedents of pronouns are immediately clear. For example, it is also important to anticipate reader reaction to the person addressing them, their entire knowledge of whom, of whom may well arise from the wording of the text. The only preceding pool of nouns is reaction, and that cannot very well be the antecedents, since reaction don't have knowledge. While the problem could be fixed by using the possessive plural or reader reactions, mental processing of the sentence will be easier if reader reactions is changed to the reactions of readers. In passing, note here the danger of editor introducing an uh, error in the opposite case, where the writer has used the direction of readers but the editor decides to tighten and sentence up by substitu- substituting reader reaction. Next, G, the correct interpretation of non-sequence and other ambiguous structure is clear from context. Consider the check translation of against customer specification. It is clear from context whether customer specification means specifications from the customer. For example, use British billing or specification about the customer. For example, this is class A customer who um, give us a lot of work. If not, insert the appropriate preposition. The reader, having seen that the has been omit in front of panel may well assume that is has similarly been omit in front of range that is the riddle will text switch to be an imperative verb you should switch the range however even arriving at an is position the reader sees that this interpretation is wrong and must in- reinterpret with range as the verb the switch range and is position Every language has its common ambiguities that must be watched. In English, the structure exemplified in more structure supervision is often not disambiguated by context. More supervision is this uh, structure or supervision that is more structure. Okay, next, uh, next explanation will be explained by Zian Ulfadila. The next is readability versus intelligibility and logic. Readability must be distinguished from inintelligibility and logic. The latter are features of the meaning of a text rather than its wording. A text may contain some slip in logic, for example, it is self-contradictory or affects precedence, or there is an error in deduction. Second, a passage may fail to be intelligible. Its intended readers will not be able to make sense of it for some reason other than logical error. It comes across as nonsensical or it is only meaningful in the like or information that comes later in the text. With some kinds of writing, a passage can be deemed intelligible even if its meaning is not immediately apparent not that a passage can be perfectly intelligible despite the presence of errors in language and style. Okay, the next materi will be explained by Siti Ayu Irma Faradila Sukma. 
okay no i want to explain about 4.4 style editing during translation translators are often involved in smoothing work while they are translating they clean up the bad writing consider the following excerpts from the annual report on forest pets and an other source of wood damage of the wood damage Point five the spurs bloodworm and hemlock looper were the main insects that destroyed the green forest in one thousand nine hundred ninety nine in the deciduous forest the main problem was the 60 style added 10 caterpillars they shoot beetles are major concern in plantations several severe one storm are caused severe damage in the summer of 1999 in summer, there is also severe damage from several wind storms. At point five, provides the translation as seen if the of the source tag phrase is to be considered. Whereas point six provides the translation as seen if the translator is involved in mental style editing while translating not the following sentence from the translated job description where point seven follows the source words but point eight the result of mental editing while translating point seven adapt technical and regulatory issues and complex information to present this matter and this information in a way that is simple, accurate and understandable at the same time. At the point A, describe technical problems, complex regulation, and other information in an accurate but understandable manner. Apart from reducing verbosity, the, transla the translator also expresses the logic of the message. Okay, I think enough for my explanation. The last material will explain by Miratul Janna. Same tribes do a bit in stylistic editing the writing to many alterations. Example, original the abundance of over measure black spruce uh, stand leads to an increase in logging costs because the trees in this oven small and merchantable volume are low. This logical structure of this sentence is caused uh, way because Z, which is confusing the problem can be rewritten to way edit. Uh, given the abundance of overmature black spruce stems, there is an increase in logging costs because the trees are even small and the merchantable volumes are low. The edit version eliminates confusions. Paying exclusive attention to very small bits of language and losing track of meaning. Original, the relationship between fake unloaded and no breaking time edit the relationship between unloaded fake, unloaded fake, and operating time. Although unloaded fake is easier to read, there is in losing fake of meaning.